Peter, first of all, welcome to Barnet Football Club. Thank you. What enticed you to want to come be our new manager? Uh, an affinity with the club already, um, being, a, being a former player here, um, and with the, with the ambition of what the football club wants to achieve. I think that that's, that's you know, when you're, when you're a manager and you want to come into a club, you want someone to be at a club that has ambition, uh, that wants to, to strive and be better and move forward. Um, and that's, that's, you know, that's all, all that you, you can ask for. It was playoffs last year, of mm. course, for us. What's your ambition moving forward? Because when you look around you at the facilities we have here, we're not got a national league structure. <laughs> is it to be back in the football league where this club belongs? I think so. I mean, that's all. That's always the aim of, of the football club. It's always been the you know the, the dream of the chairman is to, to kick on and strive to be better. Um, yeah, we've got some hard work ahead of us, and, and obviously we've got a, we've got a very small window to to bring players in in the next couple of weeks. But um, but we're you know like I said, we're, we're aiming to lay the foundations to be competitive again this season and we'll see where that takes us and then hopefully in the future then to, to, to really have a, a, a right good go at it. You touched on it there, you come and inherit a pretty small squad yeah. and there is a lot of work to do in the following weeks. What's your plan now going forward in terms of the player recruitment? So we, same as always, we, you know, we're very due diligent about our recruitments and, and where we bring our players from and, and first and foremost the players have to want to come here to play. Um, it's a, it, the most important thing for any supporter to see is a player that wants to be here um, and that shows in their commitment to the club, their, the way they perform and, and their commitment to the team. Um, so obviously that, when that needs to be very important, we need to do, get that right, um, but also we need to have the right amount of quality as well. So the quality is, you know, we have to balance that off as well. So like I said, we, we're going to be extremely busy over the next sort of week to 10 days, um, getting a list and a short list of players and, uh, and hopefully we can bring some of them to the club and uh, when we start halfway through this week we'll have a small squad to start with but by, hopefully by the end of next week we'll have a few more numbers in and, and on board and we'll start gelling together as a group. Uh, for fans who haven't seen your side to, at Hereford, what style of football do you like to play? Well, winning football first and foremost, we want to win the game um, but we like to play open attractive football um, I think that our record was over three seasons, 100 plus goals each season. So that sort of tells a lot about the way we the way we we try to play. Um, but as I said, the most important thing is we win the game. Um, so uh, so hopefully we'll bring in lots of balls into the box, lots of wide and attacking areas uh, where players can to really excite the supporters and give the give the supporters something to really sing about. And that's like I said, opportunities, goal attempts, you know, lots of lots of lots of possession um, and. Uh, and hopefully not lots of clean sheets. You obviously achieved a magnificent feat with Hereford with back-to-back -back mm. promotions. How important is that experience going to be when you, as you join Barnet? I think the experience I, I had at Hereford was, I mean, the, the success was great, uh, but I think it was more about the expectation levels of the club and not joining a club like Barnet. Um, this also has an expectation level which needs to be matched. Uh, my expectation levels are the same. I expect really high standards from myself and my players and my staff. Um, so I think that, that the, the three and a half, three and a bit years I had at Hereford will stand me in good stead with dealing with the expectations of what, you know, firstly the, the club want and also from the fans. You've had a, a little break from, from management <laughs> since yeah. leaving Hereford. Are you now really itching to go and sort of raring to go now you're back here with us? Yeah, I mean, I've always been ready to go and I think that, you know, I think that will be a, a question that my, one or two people might ask. He's been out of the game for a couple of seasons. Um, but obviously don't forget we've had six months of lockdown where nothing's happened anywhere. Um, so for 18 months now we were out of the game but we never lost that passion, I've never lost that passion and that hunger and determination to get back into it as quickly as possible but I was maybe being a bit more selective over the clubs that I did maybe a apply for. Um, so when, when this one came along this was definitely one that was, was, a, was definitely on my list and, uh, and I'm delighted to say that the chairman's shown faith in me to, to give me the job. You obviously played for us previously yeah. back in the Underhill days yeah. and the connection between the fans and the players at Underhill was fantastic. It, it's been somewhat some of a struggle yeah. at times in the last few years. How important to you is it that we bring that connection between players, staff, fans? It's the most important connection because we, we're here to entertain and we're here to, to, to represent their football club, the supporters football club. So it's hugely important that, that, the, that as I said, the players that we recruit have that that bond and that, that commitment to, to be part of what the supporters' dream is and what they want to achieve as a football club. So that, that integration and that, that commitment with them 
is, uh, is, is utmost important because, like I said, if there's a connection between your supporters and your players, that drives you on. Again, with Hereford, you know, it was, it was a very much a, a hands-on. The, the players were very committed to the supporters. The supporters felt that they could know the players individually. So it was, it was, a, it was a relationship between the two and, and they supported us through thick and thin. And I'd hoped to, like, that I could bring that to, to this football club and, and the supporters would be the same. We mentioned that you do have a small squad that you're inheriting, mm. but there's a very good spine of young, exciting, promising players. And look at the likes of Harry Taylor from Mason Clark, Josh Walker, who yeah. I'm sure you'll get to meet obviously later in the week. But yeah. there is that spine there that I'm sure you'll be looking for them to help you out as well. Well, we, at the end of the day, we've we've had a we've had a track record of bringing and developing younger players. Um, if they're good enough, they'll play. Simple as that. Isn't, age is is not a, not a problem for me. Um, if they're good enough, they will play. If they've earned the position, they will play. Um, but I think it's also about developing them as an underst- their understanding of the game. Um, but I'm really excited. I mean, Barnet's always been a, a place where they've developed and brought through young players and moved them young players on who have gone on to bigger and better things. So I'm really excited to work with this with this group and, and hopefully start adding to it as well. Just lastly, you mentioned that halfway through this week, you'll get to meet the players, etc. Mm. What is the pre-season schedule going to look like? It's going to be very short, uh, that's for sure. Obviously, I mean, if, the, if the, they're looking to start around about the first weekend of October, then it really gives us sort of about four and a half, five weeks to get together. And obviously, at the moment, we've only got sort of seven or eight players in the group already committed. Um, so it's going to be short and congested, but it's going to be hard work, but it's going to be fun. Uh, like I said, we, you know, there's, there's no point coming to work every day and not enjoying what you're doing. Um, so it will be hard work, but, but enjoyment. And hopefully, like I said, we can hit the ground running. And, and if we're not, we know, we know that we've obviously we're a little bit behind everybody else. So, but that's, like I said, that's not an excuse for me. That's just, that's just an understanding of, of knowing where we are. Um, so, but I'm pretty confident that we can put a team out there that the supporters will be proud of. And I'm pretty confident that we can put a team out there that will start winning games. And actually come October, it'll be the first game back here at the Hive since March time when we faced Boreham Wood here. So it's been such a long break for everyone mm. and not having supporters here and we're hoping that we will have fans come October. Yeah. How special will that be for you walking out here as Barnet's head coach? Yeah, well, it'll be very special. I mean, I, I came here a few seasons ago with Hereford United and, and came in. That was my first sort of game with Hereford United as their caretaker manager. Um, so, but this is being my club now, my football team. Uh, my supporters, it'll be it'll be a, a, a very proud day, and hopefully the supporters will come out and look to, you know, to see a new team, new team gelling together. That's that is that is 100% committed to the football club and to the supporters.